All right, we got a new Sunny V2 video. This is uh, Remember Only Jayus. She just ruined her career. Only Jayus might officially be the world's worst content thief. This is Only Jayus. She's built a career stealing other people's content. Here's her stealing from me last week. She's being exposed in full compilations of her copying videos word for word. If you attracted to your friend's partner and is now frantically creating fake reddit posts to explain where she supposedly got her ideas from i came across this strategy unfortunately obvious we started new jobs to do enough to the middle part with the script comes from a comment she made and then deleted the irony is that jayus had previously tweeted tiktok creators should be called out when they copy other tiktok creators videos word for word which had wow. come after another tiktoker the jonathan moss had copied one of jayus's videos back in 2020. people born in march are way more likely to have asthma i've seen this person before actually they popped up on my fucking feed I've actually seen this person before. And I can actually speak to this one because my little sister, the only one born in March, has asthma. People born in March are actually more likely to have asthma. And I can speak to that because my cousin, the only person born in March, has asthma. JS therefore publicly called him out, writing, This dude has copied my content more than once, and when I call him out on it, he threatens me, which accompanied the following video. I just think it's really weird when other big creators think it's okay to copy my video word for word and act. There's no way you're going this hard, right? And then you do the same shit. No way, right? No way, right? Now, I think this was before she started doing it, but... If you know you went this hard about somebody doing something and then you do it, you actually are insane. Act like you didn't. Jonathan replied by stating, Yeah, so I just read it off Google and it's really just reading right out the book, essentially accusing JS of copying and pasting articles she found on Google. JS responded to this by stating, He said that he found it on Google, which I mean he did, but only after watching my video. I'm now getting a huge amount of hate, people saying I'm lying, I copied Google too, I'm problematic, I should be cancelled, etc. I have a hard time dealing with the negativity before clarifying her position on stealing videos. I don't own facts, information is fair game, but blatantly copying content is not. Uh. However, at this point in time, only JS was already blatantly copying others. Only JS has been accused of copying content since Vine. This girl Damn, was since Vine? Damn, bitch! Okay, like, come on, bro called out for this years ago. I only know her because she pops up every couple of years in copy drama. She's been doing this for years. Take for example her first YouTube video. God isn't real but why he exists. Well, let's just play her audio while also showing a popular Reddit post written by someone else on the atheism subreddit. I have absolute proof that God does not exist. This proof is absolute but immaterial. You can't see it or measure it. Damn, but nigga, you couldn't put it in like, hey, copy this homework, but make sure it's not, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it don't look like you copy. Like, bro, world, from, you could have, hey, KTD, thank you for the sub. You could have, like, put it in a website, had it. You could have, hey, man, you could have did AI. Reword this for me. Reword this paragraph for me. Something. Or, right, or you could have credited the Reddit. Like, damn, nigga. It exists. It's beyond comprehension, and thus we should not even question it. It's everywhere, at all times. You just need to have faith that it's there and that it's truth. My proof is as real as any god. Jayus's script had been completely plagiarized. Um, Strangely hey, enough, she offered sources it, in the description, did. yet didn't include did the post she'd copied, possibly uh, to divert viewers' attention from her blatant thievery. In Is Time Travel Real, Jayus applied a similar strategy. She made an interesting video using many calculations, and even Love reacted a comment reading, I can only imagine how much effort this took. She'd supposedly gotten the information from these four sources, yet she failed to reference this article here, from which most of the video was plagiarized. But we can also control the rate at which we move through time. 
This is a consequence of relativity and that not all clocks are the same. Let's say somehow you were able to build a big enough rocket to provide a constant Damn. acceleration of 9.8 meters per second, and you could somehow reach the center of the Milky Way galaxy, a healthy 20,000 light years away, in just a couple of decades of your personal time. You could stop for a few hours there, have a picnic, take some pictures, and hop back on your rocket and come back to Earth. At least only Jaius had changed a couple. She, I Hey, at least she tried to change it a little bit, but like still, nigga, damn. Words. However, for another video, a look at Netflix, the same couldn't be said. She began by plagiarizing Comparatech. As of 2020, Netflix users watched an average of 3.2 hours of video per day through the service. That's 6 billion. Uh, bro, you could see, you could have took this out. Uh, bro, like you could have, yo, you could have reworded this whole thing, bro. I get it, you know what I'm saying? The most information you're gonna find is, is somewhere else. If you put a video out, you're gonna find most information somewhere else. But damn, just copy pasting it, you know? Collective hours per month. Before moving on to Forbes. Netflix is facing some seriously steep competition with new powerhouses such as Disney Plus and the soon to be launched Apple TV. Concluding with a segment stolen word for word from LinkedIn post. In 2013, Netflix required massive amounts of fast storage and fast networking for streaming. At the time, it had 100 to 150 terabytes per server, which has grown massively since then. Netflix Netflix CEO Reese Hastings stated in 2015 that users have streamed 42.5 billion hours of video through the service. Very good editing and your script is also very good. It's just a shame that Jayus didn't write it. Damn. Some of her TikToks were also pretty suspicious. Everybody's tired all the time, right? No matter how much sleep we get or caffeine wow, we consume, but also we have a lot of trouble insane. even just falling asleep and we're constantly hungry, but also kind of always nauseous. We're spending every waking moment either working or cleaning but feeling like nothing ever actually gets accomplished in a different video she simply took this meme and changed the character's name to match her own uh who are you guys i'm productive jace and i'm workout jace yeah uh i was kind of just hoping i've seen this tiktok damn hey man she a copy pasta Gonna be relaxed, Jace, today? Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's fine. We'll just be here, silently judging you. But you could still argue there was some creativity. The sources were coming from other websites and Jace was converting them into video format. This was different to stealing from other TikTokers, which if we go back to her tweet, only Jace was strictly against. However, perhaps she hated other people doing it as this was secretly her strategy. strategy. If you're yeah. attracted to the golden retriever personality, if you like the golden retriever type of people, it could mean that you like being in control and making decisions. It could mean that you have some issues around giving up control. However, it could also mean that you simply like good company. Damn, bro. Some TikToks I'll never look at the same, bro. Oh my god. And that you're normal. Well, this could mean that you just like having good company around and you're normal. In examples such as that one, Jace had stolen just a couple sentences, but there were other examples where she'd copied entire videos. How to fake your own death. How to fake your own death. Immediately start paying off all your debt. You're also gonna wanna pay off all your debt. This ensures that no debt collectors will come looking after you. It's gonna ensure that no debt collectors come looking for you. Next, start slowly auctioning off all your belongings. You're also gonna want to start. Hey man, she might be the method chat. Hey, if you see me blowing up on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Charge it to the game, nigga. Hey, and if you call me out, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> nah, this shit is insane, though, bro. This shit is insane, bro. I, bro, I can't. Like, I can get like rewording it or like making a TikTok about the same, or like be like, oh. I saw this TikTok. I wanted to add to this or something like, bro, you ain't even adding to it or just nothing, nothing. Slowly selling off all of your stuff. The keyword is slowly because if you do this too quick, people will definitely be sus. And the keyword here is slowly because if you do it too quickly, people kind of get sus about that sort of thing. Randomly ghost all your family and friends for about three months. Completely ghosting all of your family and friends for about two to three months. And then regain connection. Before reaching back out again. Do this around three to five times and they'll think it's perfectly normal. You have to do this five, six, seven times. That way, by the time you actually do go and disappear, they're not immediately worried about it. Next, I suggest learning some out 
outdoor skills. You're going to want to teach yourself some survival skills. Such as hunting, fishing, survival, etc. Hunting, camping, and farming. Because what you're going to do next is migrate far away from any people. Because you're going to have to go off the grid, somewhere remote. Stay there for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. If you're over the age of 18, it's perfectly legal. If you're over 18, this is perfectly legal to do. Jace was also popular for her endless stream of life hacks. And while they always felt intriguing and original, it turns out these were also simply plagiarized. Did you know that if you replace this word en with simple, just delete this en dot and type in simple, it'll simplify the entire article for you. And Wikipedia will dumb it down for you. But the name of your textbook, file type, two dots, PDF. Type in the name of the book your teacher's trying to get you to wow. buy, followed by file type colon PDF. You might just be able to find your entire textbook and the whole textbook will just appear for free. Despite the mounting evidence, no one Damn, bro. Hey, man. She got away with it, too. That's what's crazy. She got away with it. You can't, I, I can't hate on that. She got away with it, bro. And was probably making bands. Called her out until Jaya stole a video by a TikToker named Yo Mikes. Boom, the bomb exploded. You have to act immediately. Boom, the bomb went off. You have to act fast. First of all, don't look at the flash because it's going to blind you. Don't look at the flash. It'll blind you. If you don't have a chance to get to a shelter, your safest bet is to lay down face down and cover your head. If you can't find shelter, your best bet is going to be to lay down on the ground face down covering your head. You have to understand there's still x-rays, gamma rays, beta rays. There's going to be x-rays, but also gamma rays and thermal rays. They're going to be actively burning you alive. They're going to be actively burning you. It's not gonna feel wow. good, but you have to survive. Which are not going to feel good. Take the pain and run for shelter. You have to get up, fight through the pain, and just find fucking shelter. Mike therefore posted proof only JS copies me, gaining 430,000 likes. Hot she stole your flow word, word for word, word bar for bar. My whole shtick. She trying to get any attention at this point. Word for word. Oh, this was 2022. I was wondering why I haven't saw her on my shit for a while. Like, I didn't really wonder, but like, I'm like, as we're listening to this, I'm like, I haven't seen this girl in a while, though. You know, the fuck is a shtick? Your whole shit, whole gig, you know, shtick, shtick, shtick pick for pick. Others defended JS writing, or she googled the same topics you searched, and the same pictures popped up, yet Mike clarified all of what I said was written in a script by me. JS simply Damn. ignored the call out until it disappeared. However, over just the previous week, her content theft is again going viral after she copied 5. a video by Everyday Alex. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Girl, back to back. Damn, shorty. Back to back. Like, you... Did you... Did you even try? Like, like at all? Remember when only JS got cancelled for saying the n-word? Apparently that didn't teach them to be better. What the fuck did she say the n-word? Bro. <laughs> uh, yo, am I missing something, bro? person because look what they just did when you get a new job do just enough to not get fired you're gonna put in the bare minimum just enough not to get fired don't take on any extra work don't go above and beyond and then after about six months or when a new position opens up like six months or whenever a new position opens up start coming in early take work home you're gonna come into work early you're gonna ask to bring like work home late your boss will ask you why the big change your boss to come up and be like what's up with this like sudden change you'll tell him that you've discovered you can't have kids you're gonna be like oh i just realized that i can't ever have children so you're gonna try really hard from now on so i really just want to like throw myself into my work they will promote you without you even asking you guys are gonna get the job without even asking for it. After getting no response, Alex called her out again. Only JS is a notorious Damn. content thief. Her entire account has been built on stealing. And after pressure began to mount, JS offered her reply. She denied it and said this, that we both got the idea from the same Reddit post. The message read- Sorry about the raid today, guy. Thanks, mods, for handling it and messaging. Uh, this guy's claiming I stole his content, but we use the same Reddit page and read off of it. I'm just going to ignore it because honestly, it's kind of silly. Hope y'all are doing good. I'll be back Friday. This guy is claiming I stole his content, but we used the same Reddit page and read off of it. I'm just going to ignore it because honestly, it's kind of silly. Yet Alex explained that his idea was never even from Reddit. I am offering $10,000 to charity if she can send me the Reddit post. It's that one Reddit post written by that one guy. With JS clearly lying, Alex applied Damn, more pressure. I was so confident I didn't get it off Reddit that I offered $10,000 to anybody who could find it. Upload a compilation of JS stealing TikToks. A five minute comp. Damn, shawty, you cook. 
Like, I can get, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, she's stealing my shit. Stealing my five minutes of, of, of stealing. Hey, man. Shit, man. Leading Jayus to start a live stream, excited to prove him wrong by showing this long-lost Reddit post. This whole stream is going to be getting this $10,000, drop charity names that you would like to see this guy donate $10,000 fucking dollars to, because that's what we're going to do. I got this video from Reddit. She claims she screenshotted the post many years beforehand and would therefore have to find it. I actually haven't even sat down and found the screenshot yet. There's got to be well over like 30,000 screenshots. Oh, chat. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep, uh, I'll tell y'all after the video. I'm gonna tell y'all. Screenshots in my phone right now. I should have done this before starting the stream. Yet it seems she did find it before her stream, as embarrassingly, the screenshot was saved right there in her bookmarks. Despite this, she eventually got it on her phone. I found the screenshot. It's Ooh. this one right here of a reddit post of a reddit comment and i took the screenshot march 20th 2020 at 7 24 p.m this is the screenshot i took of reddit seemingly proving all the haters wrong i'm absolutely so fucking tired of people claiming that i'm stealing their content like from tiktok and i'm just not until everyday alex proved that the reddit post and screenshot was made by js herself we did some Wait, huh? digging and we found she doctored a screenshot He'd what? firstly show that Jayus had modified the screenshot's date. And I took the screenshot March 20th, 2020. The date thing is meaningless. Here's a fake post we made, and this is how easy it was for us to change the date. Proven oh, by damn. showing that the screenshot could have only been taken on the most recent iPhone. Jayus claims her hold screenshot. On, hold 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 on. Wait, 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 though. wait, though, wait, though, wait, though, wait, though. Hold on. I mean that I'm stealing their call. The hate. 4 p.m. March 20. So she took a screenshot of something in 2020 that said three years ago. Okay, so that would have been essentially. So if it was three years ago in 2020, it would have been it came out in 2017 or something. All right. People claiming it's proved that the Reddit post and screen. And she doctored a screenshot. He'd firstly show that Jayus had modified the screenshots. Well. Here's my th wait. Can you day? Wait. Oh yeah, she got an iPhone. I was gonna say if she got an iPhone, then that's not. But this is this is weird. Cause how you got it on Google? Oh, unless you open it in like a Google Doc. March twentieth, twenty twenty. The date thing is meaningless. Here's a fake post we made, and this is how easy it was for us to change the date. Proven by showing that the screenshot could have only been taken on the most recent iPhone. JS claims her screenshot was taken in 2020, but the screenshot she showed had a display of 1290 by 2796. The only iPhone that has that display is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa. Wait, whoa. 20. The date shots date. And I took the screenshot March 20th, 2020. The date thing is meaningless. Hold on. Here's a fake post we made, and this is how easy God it was damn. for us to change the date. Proven by showing that the screenshot could have only been taken on the most recent iPhone. JS claims her screenshot was taken in 2020, but the screenshot she showed had a display of 1290 by 2796. The only iPhone that has that display is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which was released late 2023. As shown here, she had an iPhone 12 in 2020. But in case damn. this didn't already prove it, Alex then showed exactly how the post was faked. We use software that searches Reddit for recent deleted posts and found that someone named JSYT posted the full, uh, full script on a subreddit called r slash bad fake bad fake text is crazy fake texts obviously she did this so she would have a real looking chunk of text she could use in her main doctored screenshot after alex aired his video js conveniently deleted her live stream however her behavior hasn't changed as she just posted the following ripoff if you're attracted to your friends partners if you're attracted to your friends partners and when asked where did you find this out she once again lied Reddit. this series is from some conversations my psych professor Professor like to have with us about attraction. Uh, I highly doubt it. Lying, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga went on a hunt. I think it like me on like, right, whatever. It is what it is. Bitch lying. But this nigga went on the prowl. No. This nigga went on the prowl to find that shit. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs>